Wyoming is famous for many things, including its outlaws. Wyoming's outlaws have a rich history in the state, and the Sundance Kid is no exception. Harry Longenbaugh was born in 1867 near Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He got his start in the West as a cowboy working at different ranching operations. During hard times in the Black Hills, Harry stole a horse, pistol, and supplies near Sundance, Wyoming. He was sentenced to 18 months in jail. While in jail at Sundance, he received the alias, the Sundance Kid. Once released, the Sundance Kid continued to work as a cowboy and never far from trouble. He eventually met up with Butch Cassidy and joined a group of outlaws known as the Wild Bunch. The Wild Bunch was famous for committing train and bank robberies throughout the western U.S. Feeling pressure from law enforcement after many years of crime, Cassidy and the Sundance Kid eventually relocated to Argentina. While living in South America, the two ran into trouble with Bolivian authorities. The men were trapped in a small house where a gunfight broke out and eventually took the lives of Cassidy and the Sundance Kid in 1901. There are many theories and debates surrounding what actually happened to the Sundance Kid. While we may never know the exact truth, it is easy to imagine early day outlaws riding across the open spaces of Wyoming. From the University of Wyoming Extension, I'm Brian Sebade, exploring the nature of Wyoming. Thank you.